Things to do in Bali Bali, Indonesia has been counted as one of the most picturesque locations in the world for a good vacation for those who are designing to get off the beaten path, find their inner selves and take a trip outside of what normal tourists would expect. Here we are going to talk about some of the wonderful and beautiful things to do in Bali, to get off the beaten path and to really enjoy yourself in a physical and spiritual way. 1. Take a visit to the Ulandanu Temple sitting on the edge of the Baradan Lake. This angelic temple was dedicated to the goddess of the lake and is one of the most peaceful locations you will find on the island. There are numerous shrines surrounding the lake all dedicated to different gods. You could spend a peaceful morning or a relaxing afternoon enjoying the serenity of this mystical lake. 2. Dive the Padang Bay. It is located just to the east of Bali and it is one of the famous diving spots. There are seven different dive sites where you will see sharks, turtles and a vast array of coral gardens to view. If you aren't already certified in potty diving, you can get fully certified during your visit with one of the many potty dive shops around Bali. 3. World Famous Tigalalong Rice Terraces The Tigalalong Rice Paddies are located just north of Ubud and are one of the more iconic sites to see while visiting Bali. You can always wander through the fields throughout the day but if you are wanting to get an early start, you can visit the rice paddies in the morning. 4. Are you a yogi? Bali is known for the abundance of methods for relaxation, temples with heavy influences of Buddhism, Balinese Hinduism, and Hinduism, there is an absolute sense of search for inner self. Along those same lines, travelers come from all corners of the world to visit yoga schools and studios. One of the most popular yoga retreat in Bali is the Yoga Barn. It is a yoga retreat center where you can stay focused on cleansing your mind and your body through the several detox programs that Yoga Barn offers. 5. Vision of Paradise, Nusa Penita has turquoise waters, perfectly green rainforests, and white sand beaches. We wanted to share with you one of the best and most beautiful beaches in Bali, Diamond Beach. Diamond Beach in Nusa Penita is one of the most perfect and truly iconic beaches for white sand and glorious teal blue waters. 6. Water Jetpack at Tanjung Benoa In Tanjung Benoa lies a specialty shop where you can strap on the water jetpack and literally take off into the air. Instructors and trained specialists will be around you the entire time and teach you how to fly this adrenaline pumping water sport before you actually strap on your jetpack and fly. 7. Tana Lat Temple Bali's most famous attraction, a Hindu temple, that now sits alone as a majestic structure that has the perfect view of both sunset and sunrise. If you want to visit during sunset, get there several hours before the sun sets. 8. Taste Local Bali Cuisine Try to find a local cooking class. This way not only are you able to taste the local cuisine, but you are also able to learn how these plates are cooked in the traditional way. In Bali, you can take a cooking class at Bumbu Bali, a local restaurant that also offers cooking classes in the morning. The class starts by taking a trip to the market to pick out the local Balinese ingredients you will need for your meal, then once you return to the restaurant, class is in session. 9. Catch a Dance Show Bali is famous for its Ketra dance, which was developed by the villages in the 1930s. The entire dance and show are set to the sounds of the men chanting a cappella, which is the rhythm used to dance to. Monkey Forest is in Ubud and has three Hindu temples that were constructed in the early 14th century located within the complex that you can visit around the forest. This is a natural reserve that you can walk through and even take a few selfies with the monkeys. Be aware, however, these grabby primates are also known to pickpocket and grab cameras, bottles of water and sunglasses without you noticing what happened before it is too late, so keep an eye on your items when walking through. 11. Sacred Baths in the Tired Am Pool If you ever watch the movie Eat, Pray, Love with Julia Roberts you will know about the location I am going to talk about next.
The sacred baths of Tyra M. Pool is a pool filled by fountains from nearly all sides. The architecture of this bathing house is absolutely astounding and is definitely worth walking around after you take a dip into the sacred waters. Tyra M. Pool is said to be sacred by the countless numbers of Hindus that travel from all corners of Bali to bathe in its healing waters. 12. Eat on the beach of Sanur. Like any island, Bali isn't just comprised of the jungle, rice paddies, temples and tiny villages. There are busy and bustling towns like Kuda that you can visit and seaside villages in Sanur. Sanur is known for its world-renowned beaches, but this town has more to offer than just pretty beaches. Try some of the best seafood you might ever taste, caught fresh every morning and grilled. You won't regret taking a side trip to this town even if you just came for dinner. 13. Charlie Chocolate Factory We all know Valentine's Day is like World Chocolate Day though not officially titled that, but how would you like to pair your visit to Bali with a trip to the chocolate factory? Indonesia is one of the top producers of cocoa in the world. Not many people do. But you can take a tour through the Pod Chocolate Factory and see how they still have a very hands-on approach to how they process their cocoa to chocolate. 14. Minjong and Diving Site This island is just northwest of Bali where it might take a bit of time to get there, though it is worth the time. Spend the day on Minjong and Island walking from one side of the island to other, enjoying the temples, architect, shops and the history of the island. Visiting Indonesia is one of the great places to go scuba diving in the world and Minjongan is no exception. Here you will see a vast plethora of coral reefs, hundreds of species of fish, turtles, octopus and rays. 15. Stay with the locals. The Indonesians are one of the friendliest people on earth, though they live in a third world country, it never seems to dampen their spirits or their smiles. This especially goes for the Balinese people, which is why I suggest that if you are willing to explore new experiences while traveling, staying with the host family is the way to go. 16. Visit Waterfalls Bali is known far and wide for its natural beauty, there is a network of waterfalls all around Bali, visit spectacular locations like Sekhum Pool Waterfalls. Or visit the waterfalls near Munduk where you will walk through orchid fields, local markets and farmlands to get to these beautiful waterfalls. 17. Drink from the Fountain of Youth If you believe in myths and legends, then you might be interested in visiting the Fountain of Youth. You'll find this in Goa Gaja, translating to Elephant Cave. The locals believe that if you drink from the water fountains being held by the six female statues that the water has healing properties. We highly recommend getting a local guide to tour you around to explain the historical and cultural significance of this cave to the Balinese people. 18. Travel to Karangasam. On the eastern side of Bali lies Karangasam. The drive takes about 90 minutes from Bali's main airport. While you're there, don't forget to visit Limpang Gate. 19. End the trip at a spa. A trip to Bali wouldn't be complete without a trip to at least a spa. Visiting the spa in Bali isn't just about getting a massage. It is about using centuries-old techniques to heal, relax and rejuvenate you from all of the emotional clutter that builds up from your daily life. It is believed in Bali, visiting a spa is taking care of yourself not so that you will be beautiful on the outside but your spirit will be beautiful on the inside. With such a strong cultural presence of the Hindu and Buddhist religion, the local Balinese believe that your soul and spirit should be healed. This will heal your inner spirit while relaxing and rejuvenating your exterior self. 20. Ubud Palace A trip to Bali isn't complete without a trip to the Ubud Palace. The palace is the most important structure in Ubud and dates back to the early 1800s. You could spend the day wandering around the palace and then wait until nightfall when the palace seems to come alive. Live music, dance shows and cultural storytelling throughout the evening after the sun sets. Bali is too beautiful not to visit, 
there is something for everyone and you can even travel on a budget. The prices in Bali are extremely reasonable for the quality of food, experience and adventures you can have. Don't just take a vacation, take a trip that you will remember for a lifetime.